Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can check your PowerPoint presentations for accessibility. You'll see on the screen I've loaded up a PowerPoint presentation. It's on statistics. But I want to check this for accessibility, and I can do so within PowerPoint itself. If I move on the menu bar to the Review section, there's a button here saying Check Accessibility. And if you click on this button, it'll check your PowerPoint presentation for the most obvious accessibility problems. For instance, you can see here it is highlighted that the alternative text for my images is missing on seven slides. There's one table that has no header row, and that one slide is missing a title. These are errors that need to be corrected. Underneath there, there are a number of warnings. For instance, some hard to read text contrast. I've probably used white text on a light colored background. A table has got merged or split cells, and I need to check the reading order of a couple of my slides. Reading order refers to the animation sequence of a given slide. If you click on any of these warnings or errors by clicking on the little arrow, it'll give you a list of what it is you expect to be able to correct. If you then click on the problem, it'll take you to that slide. So for instance, this slide has got white text on a bluish background. If I highlight both of these, go to the home page and send the text to a black color, you can see immediately those warnings have disappeared. Therefore, I fix that accessibility problem. If a table has no header row, very easily I can highlight the first line of this table, go to Table Design, and make that first row a header, and that warning disappears as well. You can easily go through these warnings and change the problems and fix them immediately before saving your file. For those who use lots of images on their slides, the alternative text is a way of entering essentially a hidden figure legend for any image you've put on your slides. So let's go to a figure. There we are. Picture three on this slide shows the results of a random number generator to indicate treatment order for four participants, but it doesn't have an alt text. So if I click on this picture, go to picture format, I can then add alt text in the alt text option box. If the image is for decorative purposes only, you can click on mark as decorative. Otherwise, you can enter a short description. Once you have fixed all of these accessibility problems, you'll notice that you no longer have any errors and you can save your file. It looks like I've got some work to do on this slideshow. So I'll end this now.